नमो नमः सर्वेभ्यो नमस्कार शुभोदय टुडे इज द थर्टीन डे ऑफ अवर क्लासेस ऑन योगा वी हैव कंप्लीटेड थ्री मंथ्स ऑफ इन फैक्ट फोर मंथ्स ऑफ कोर्स वर्क वी आर लेफ्ट विथ एन थ्री डेज इज द टुडे इज द दिस इज द लास्ट वीक of the course and the first three days will be yoga uh, after that we'll have an exam and then after that we'll have valedictory function so today uh, so the, uh, today's session we will start with vande uh, mataram and then prarthana chala chitti babu garu वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम सुजला सुफला मलयज शीतला सतरम वंदे मातरम शोभिनी सुहासिनी सुमधुर भाषिणी सुखदा वरदा मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम धन्यवाद चला चिट्ठी बाबू गार ना लेट इज रिक्वेस्ट रमेश गारू टू चांद प्रार्थना प्लीज हरे हो सर्वे भ्यो नमो नम लेट स्टार्ट विथ मेडिटेशन फॉर ए मिनट followed by chanting of om and then i'll recite prarthana so let's do a meditation for a minute गुरो मतिरस्ति गुरो मां पाहि गुरो 
ज्ञानानंदमय देव निर्मल स्फटिकाकृति आधार हयग्रीव मुपात्महे श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्त नम असतो मद्गमय तमसो मोतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतंगमय ओ शाते 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 मातृदेव पितृदेव आचार्य देव अतिथिदेव ओं सहनावत सह नौ भुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मेद्विषा वह ओ शाते 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 धन्यवाद रमेश जलनेति it is to be done with a particular vessel which you can get in the market or somewhere or you can online also this vessel is having a shape like this and in this vessel i have put now i am adding half teaspoon of um uh, salt as usual like we have done in the case of ajakarni also and then i will put this nozzle there is a nozzle here into my left nostril and keep my mouth open and breathe only through my mouth so the water goes from the left to right nostril and then it will come out in the right nostril and if you breathe in through nose the water will go into your head so you should not breathe in through your nose while doing this you should breathe in breathe only through your mouth keeping the mouth wide open and like that and you should bend forward the boards for dividing this i hope you have seen water coming here yeah, out of the right nostril when i put this in left nostril similarly when i put it in right nostril it will come out of left so you can do one more time also Possible. I know I'll be only once. And after that, you just wait there for a few seconds so that the water drops will flow out of the nose on their own. And after that, you have to do a lot of breathing exercise to remove the remaining water inside the nose or head by keeping your hands at the back and bending forward while breathing out. sideways also
So this way, 20 times, 30 times when you do, the water remaining in the nostrils or in the head will come out, balance water which has not come out previously. And now I will do more of the same thing and also do for Bhastrika Pranayama. You know what is Bhastrika Pranayam? That is breathing out when you pull the abdomen inside and breathing in you push it forward. Left to left, right to right. That is inhale with left, exhale with left. Inhale with right, exhale with right like that. Inhale with left, exhale with right like that. Different combinations. So first I will be doing left to left. Then right to right. Then left to right. Then right to left. And left to right, right to left. So I have cleaned up my nostril and that Apala Shodhani Chaivadi Vyadrishti Pradayani. This is Neti Kriya, Jala Neti, then Sutra Neti is also where we put a thread to the mouth, nose and comes out of the mouth. I will show it in an advanced course. So it will uh, improve the eyesight. Then you will not require spectacles. I am 70, I don't have spectacles. And uh, it will give you Divya Drishti, it is called. And uh, all the problems related to the head dogs. The two, all the ENT problems, tonsillitis, adenoids, headache, migraine, you name it. It is the ultimate weapon, Neti Kriya. We have done Dhauti, stomach cleaning. It is ultimate for the gastrointestinal tract. And we also have Shankha Prakshana, which is ultimate for the intestinal tract. So today we have done Jalaneti again. We'll continue the Bhastrika Pranayamam and then all of you can do Bhastrika along with me uh, because you, you cannot do Jalaneti, you don't have the vessel with you, but you can do it later. You can procure the vessel online. So whenever I breathe out, my stomach is going inside. Whenever you breathe in, my stomach is coming forward. In addition to all the physical effects, this Neti Kriya will also give psychological benefits. You will feel a sense of well-being. Very good. Prasanna Mendriya Manaha.
So we have done the entire Sukshma Vyayama, standing position, there are 52 exercises. There's a book on that which I authored, the only book in the world today available. Previously, it was Nilayan Brahmachari's book, which is now missing. It is out of uh, publication. I have a copy with me. And uh, so in that uh, book, they have uh, explained, I'll show you that book. So this is the book, it's, a, it's not an ordinary book, it's an extraordinary book. Yogic Sukshma Ayama, Vishwayatana Yogashrama, Pantalai Jammu. So here uh, it starts with the photographs of the gurus who have developed uh, this uh, technique. That is Maharshi Kartikeya developed uh, this technique of Sukshma Vayama. Maharshi Kartikeya lived for 350 years in Himalayas. I am not saying that uh, if you practice Sukshma Vayama, you will also live for 350 years. But he lived. And he is a very great person. And uh, he designed this subject. So this book is authored by Adhirendra Brahmachari, who was the guru of Nehru, Pandit Nehru, who learned from uh, Maharshi Kartikeya this subject. Here is Maharshi Kartikeya. So our pranams to him for having designed this, His Holiness Maharshi Kartikeya. And uh, in my book, I have given these photographs in the lineage. Dhiran Brahmachari learned from Kartikeya Maharshi. And from Dhiran Brahmachari, Suri Raghav Dikshitru learned in Jammu Mantrai and Ashra, Aparna Ashram Mantrai. And uh, he learned in 1950s and got the Yogasana Charya title. And then 1960s, he taught me at Ramakrishna Mat Sikhindra Bad and made me in charge yoga teacher there. So I was the only one yoga teacher in the whole of Sikhindra Bad uh, during 60s at the age of 15. I, was, I taught for five years first. Then this book contains all the uh, exercises which we have been learned, hand exercises. I have written my own book with my own photographs, mostly. And uh, my other guru is uh, Swami Silananda Bharti, whose photo is also there in my book. He is from the Duniwala Samsthan of Khandwa, Madhya Pradesh. And he taught me advanced pranayama towards Samadhi, which is a higher level yoga. Then, of course, uh, in this book, they have also given the uh, some of the asanas and kriyas. And there is a subject called uh, Stula Vyayama, which I will try to teach you, which is cardiac exercise. And, for example, he has given the Sirshasana here like this in detail. And there is another book of Yogasanas where he has given extensive Yogasanas. Uh, this I have shown you these things physically and uh, and the Navi Chakra Shuddhi that is the Uttarasana, Anurasana, Chakrasana and Vatsyasana, which we have also shown, like Kana, Dhanura. This book is not available now. Then he has given a whole chapter on part four, whole part on the Shatkarmas. 
So he has given the Gajakarni, which I have shown you already. Sitting like this and then drinking water and then vomiting. Then he has given the Sutraneti explanation, the thread, which uh, we have not done in this course. We may do it in the advanced course. A little tough. And then he has given Jalaneti. Just now I showed you Jalaneti and how to breathe out uh, water, bending forward and sneezing out. Then there is one Dukhaneti also drinking milk through same vessel. Most, which I have not shown to you. And then in the there is advanced technique called Vastra Gauti, swallowing a cloth and bringing it out from the mouth. It is also very advanced and we are not teaching it nowadays. Then we have the Nauli Kriya, which I try to show you how the abdominal muscles can be charged. I used to also directly interact with uh, Dhiran Brahmachariji in Delhi. And also one photograph is there with me. I mean, with uh, Dhiran Brahmachariji and uh, Dikshit Ruhuji and myself, three together, myself having fear uh, in my book. And there's one Trataka Kriya, which is to be done with a Jyoti meditation. So that also I have not taught you this time. And then, of course, pranayama, which is what we are doing every day. So, Dhiran Brahmachari lived for about 85 years or so. He was very fit. Even at the age of 85, he was like uh, 35, 40 years. He was wearing only one cloth, even when he went to Vasco. Now, we are going to do this Venkatapraksharana Asana, which is Sarpasana. Uh, Sarpasana, Udhvastasana. And uh, Pratichakrasna and Varaka uh, Shakti. These four. If you drink water and do these four, you'll get more Shakti. So when you repeatedly do, you'll get uh, many motions. Finally, you get uh, uh, less water in the motion, which indicates the thorough cleansing of the intestinal tract and the entire elementary canal. Which will cure all diseases in the body and give you a divine body. Deva Deham Bhavet. Varisaram Parangopyam. Deha Nirmalakara. Deva Deham. So now uh, we have only three days. Today, first one day is already I have shown you Jalaneti. I have already covered Sukshmavayama in detail and I have given the book also. Of course, the printed, you can take print out or printed books are available with me, but very few are available. Not Share. Then this Thula Vyayama is what we will try to do today. Uh, there is some message, I think we will give it. Uh, yeah. uh, so the Thula Vyayama is the uh, cardiac uh, exercise set. You might have realized that the entire Sukshmayama was very subtle. It was not cardiac, in the sense it was not causing any uh, heart uh, exercise. They were all simple exercises for different parts of the body. So the cardiac uh, exercises are covered in the Sulavayama. And uh, we have time today to cover a or uh, cover Shankaprakshana Asanas. How much time we have today? It's only uh, 5 to 7. Okay. Okay, then I'll cover full of my exercises, which are uh, hard. That is cardiac uh, exercises. They will cause a lot of exhaustion. You have to go to Shavasana and take rest at the end. <clears throat> so first I will do what is called Sarvanga Pushti, which is <clears throat> you have to stretch your legs. As much as you can. 
keep your thumb inside and close the fist. Keep the right over the left and start from left. Breathing in deeply and stretching the body maximum backwards till right side comes. And breathe out at the right side, leg, then touching the hand to the leg. Like what a hand, do the vice versa from right. This is one round. Like this, you can do three rounds or three rounds, depending on your capacity. This is Sarvanga push. Then we have Utkhodak. Utkhodak is jumping in a particular way. Keep your thumbs closed. And take a deep breath with a circular hand motion. And then jump and kick your buttocks and chest and legs. And when you jump, you fit here and you fit here also. And put cool back. Third is Urtva <coughs> Gati. Keep your hands like this, right angles. Lift your right leg and left hand, breathing in. Breathe out and come. This will improve the nervous system. The other is the Rekha Gatti. You have to have a black point on the wall. And you have to go on looking at the wall. Moving forward without closing the eyes. Without being... I'll take a pencil and I'll put a black point on the wall. At your height of your eyes, at your own height. Exactly. Just a small circle. And you put off your lights. And by looking at that point, I will move forward without lifting my legs and without closing my eyes. The legs will be sliding like this without lifting. And eyes will not be closed. It will be gazing at that point with natural light. I'll be gazing at that point and sliding the legs, touching each other without lifting. Again, come back without closing eyes all through till you reach back to the original position. When you reach back, you close your eyes. You rest for the eyes for some time. Again, start. For three times, six times. Now I'm going to the third time. So 
So now I close my eyes. And I finish the kriya. Then we have a technique called Injan Daud. Injan Daud means like uh, uh, running while standing. You don't uh, run outside your house. You run only at one point of standing only. Breathing in and breathing out, like an engine. But you keep your fist closed with thumb inside, like this and this. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in while hitting the chest and legs hitting the buttocks. Just see what I am doing. So I take a deep breath. What is Shava? Take deep breath in Shavasan for five to five minutes.
Let's try to the left. Then back to center. Turn to the right. Come back to center. And do yoga nidra now, right off. Feel the breathing going in and coming out into various parts of the body.
take deep breathing to energize the whole body seven times. Okay, slowly activate your limbs and come back to the Lord. Oh, we will go for pranayama. Left to right and right to left, analog you know, for five to ten minutes. Some people do with these last two fingers. That is also fine, but we are doing with this. That closing is complete. This way, this is not this, but this.
So you might have already done the primary pranayama from Bridge Bhushan. But once again, I'll show you. You have to close your ears and eyes and nose. And uh, take deep breath through nose. And then produce the sound mm, like that Ramara sound. It is similar to Om, but only the last part of Om. Mm. Again, breathe in and through nose only. Don't close the nose while breathing out or breathing in because you cannot breathe without the nose. Only all other things will be closed. So we have 10 pranayamas in Hatha Yoga. Bhastrika, I have already shown you. Pramari, I have shown you. Then we have Surya Bheda, which is to produce heat in the body. If you breathe into the right nostril, hold it for some time and breathe out the left nostril. Again, breathe in only through the right nostril. And repeat this for 20, 30 times. That is called Surya Bheda, which is going to produce the heat because right nostril is Surya Nadi. <clears throat> then we have Sitali and Sitkari, which are meant for cooling. So I can show you those also today. Or I have already shown, I don't remember. So Sitali is similar to our Sukshmayama indexes. Breathe in through the tongue like a spoon and breathe out the nose 20 times or 30 times. Close your eyes. It will produce coolness because the evaporation on the tongue tip will produce coolness in the tongue and it will spread throughout the body. Breathe out through the nose while breathing through the mouth. Then the next is Hitkari. Keep your tongue erect, touching your palate the, near the nostril holes. Your tongue tip should touch. Then breathe in through the mouth, through the teeth. So that the stream of air is instant on the back of the tongue. Then breathe out through the nose, closing mouth. So two million times you'll get cold also. So we have done 
various pranayamas adequate for this course. Now we go for meditation. After observing your uh, thoughts for a few minutes, you switch over to observing your breath. Feel the breath going in and coming out. Also synchronize so hum with breath, so inhalation and hum exhalation. So hum. So hum. Hum so hum so hum so hum. So means saha he. Hum means I. So hum in reverse is. Am so, am saha, am sa means paramahamsa, paramatma. Am sa hamsaya vidmahe, paramahamsaya dhimahi, tanno hamsa prachodayat, deho devalaya prokto, jivo deva sanatana, yaje dajnana nirmalyam so hambhave na puje. So ham. Hum so hum so hum. Now be in yourself, blankness. Your infinite, eternal, anantam, akal, satsri akal, timeless, eternal. 
and infinite self you are that tatvamasi and i am that i am brahman aham brahmas and everything is that sarvam kalvidam brahma and this self is brahman i am atma brahma so finally we go for om meditation which is om all what all i told you brahman or self is om take deep breath and go for om repeat at home and times or more also ूनिवर्सल ग्लोबल ब्लैसिंग इमेजिन दि होल ग्लोब एंड यूनिवर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यूर ब्लैस सुखिनरामयाद्राणी पश्य कशि दुख भागस्तर तो दुर्गा सर्वोभद्राणी पश्यतु सर्वसद्बुद्धिमापनोत सर्वसर्वत्र नंदत ओं सर्वेशा स्वस्तिर्भवत ओं सर्वेशा स्वस्तिर्भवत ओं सर्वेशा शातिर्भवत ओं सर्वेशा शातिर्भवत पूर्ण पूर्ण मंगल ओं सर्वेशा मंगल ओं लोकास्वस्ता सुखिनो लोकास्वस्ता सुखिनो ओम लोकास्वस्ता सुखिनो ओम शांत शांत शांति ओके आई फिनिश्ड टुडे सेशन वी नो गो फॉर द थेरी क्लास so we were uh, trying to cover the role of yoga in in connection or with reference to various other schools of thought like uh, buddhist jain so you can read the chapter yourself that is the 
<clears throat> one of the last chapters for this course. So basically what uh, it is being said there is that uh, Lord Buddha, for example, or Mahavira, they have practiced yoga deeply. The same yoga which we are talking about as Patanjali Yoga, Ashtanga Yoga. And they have taught, they have practiced, they have achieved enlightenment. The word Buddha means a person who has achieved enlightenment. Buddhi, deep practice of the deep uh, meditation, yoga, samadhi through pranayama and other things. Dharana, jhana, samadhi. Siddhartha became Buddha by achieving enlightenment, which was being uh, conveyed, uh, sought to be conveyed to the whole world that the root cause of uh, sorrow is desire. And if you give up desire, then you will not have any sorrow. Because kama leads to krodha and krodha leads to lobha and lobha. Or lo kama also leads to lobha and lobha, moha and mada and matsal. So he, he, all the miseries in the world are due to desire. So he gave the doctrine of, of desirelessness, vairagya, that is sannyasa, and monkhood and begging, going around the begging ball. And monasteries were established and Buddhism ruled the whole world for a long time, starting with India and spread all over in the world. The various Buddhist monks, like uh, people like uh, <clears throat> Bodhidharma went from Tamil Nadu, he was a Chalukyan prince. He went to China and he taught karate there, the Shaolin temple and all that. And also from Nalanda, there were uh, Buddhist scholars and also vice versa. From China, that is China, we have Yuan Sang, Pao Yin and many others came to Nalanda and studied Sanskrit, Vedas, Shastras, Yoga, everything and went back with around 10,000 manuscripts. If you go to Nalanda, you can see the museum of Yuan Sang. So China and India got closely associated. China is declared as the cultural colony of India by the Chinese ambassador himself when India became independent. Of course, later on, communism came and uh, dominated. They have destroyed the ancient Chinese heritage to some extent. Tibet is an example of that. Dalai Lama is the representative of the Vajrayana Buddhism. There are major three branches, Hinayana, Mahayana, and Vajrayana. Hinayana is practiced, or Theravada is practiced in Sri Lanka. Buddha went to Sri Lanka seven times and established Dharma, Dharma Chakra Pravartana. I visited Sri Lanka and saw his tooth temple. Buddha's tooth is kept in a temple at Kandy, a very holy place for Buddhists. The whole of Sri Lanka is Buddhist. But they also worship uh, Vishnu, Shiva, Brahma, in addition to accepting Buddha as their guru. They don't worship Buddha as such, but they uh, revere him as guru. Whereas in Japan and other countries, where the later phase of Buddhism spread is called Mahayana Buddhism, where they worship Buddha as God himself. I went to Kyoto, where the temples of Buddha exist. 400-year-old Kyoto temples and the palace. And Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, everywhere Buddhism is spread. The whole of Asia is Buddhist. Even India was Buddhist once upon a time. And Jainism, though older than Buddhism, became less prominent. But one stage, Jainism also spread extensively. But both were silent on existence of God or Ishwara. And as a result, they are called Nastika Darshanas. And uh, Adi Shankaracharya doctrinally defeated them. But the Muslims destroyed the Buddhist monasteries and libraries in Nalanda. 
Buddhism and Hinduism were well integrated. You can see in Kathmandu, in Nepal, that integration. And in Muktinath also. And in Bodhgaya also. But Shankaracharya revived the doctrinal Vedanta, Advaita and defeated Buddhism's doctrine of nothingness, Sunyavada, with the Mayavada. So he replaced Sunyavada with Mayavada of undefinability. And that's why he was known as Rachanda Buddha, Buddha in disguise. He revered Buddha as Bhagavan, but he told certain things which Buddhism taught were wrong. And he proved that they were wrong, like nothingness as the ultimate truth, as against Brahman, as the infinite truth. So, Jainas also contributed extensively for the development of the yoga system in the caves. Jain Munis practiced yoga. The originator of Jain philosophy is Rishabhadeva, who is mentioned as one of the avatars of Vishnu in the Bhagavad Purana. Vishwadeva was a Muni, he was doing intense tapasya and he had Siddhis, he had disciples. So later on, Jainism took a shape of independent religion. Initially, it was nothing but part of Hindu fold, as was Buddhism. Buddha himself is a Kshatriya of Shakya Muni, Shakya dynasty, known as Shakya Muni. And uh, Jaina philosophy is also based on dharma and yoga. Both Buddhism and Jainism are based on dharma and yoga. Jainism is far more strict. They are not only strict vegetarians, but they will not even hurt the microorganisms, so they will keep one mask so that their breath, the breath coming out of the mouth will not hurt the microorganisms and they will wipe the floor before walking. So that microorganisms will not be hurt. So Jain Munis are extreme tapasvis. They are called Shramanas. Brahmanas are from Hindu fold. Shramanas are from Jain fold. They have same principles of dharma and tapasya and yoga. But the difference comes only in the acceptance of the Veda as the authority and acceptance of Ishvara, creator. So that's where the difference lies. And surprisingly, the Abrahamic faiths like Islam and Judaism are in the opposite area. They uphold the existence of, they accept and uphold the existence of creator or Ishvara. Whereas Buddhism and Jainism oppose that. Because Buddhism and Jainism are of Indian origin, we are accepting them as dharmic religions and we are rejecting the Abrahamic faiths as outside Indian or foreign. But they are accepting the existence of creator, God, Ishwara in almost the same terms as Hinduism, the Nirakara form. They do not accept multi, multi various versions of God, but only one single which is also okay for us, but we also accept multifarious versions, which finally merge into only one home. So in fact, recently, one of the top uh, Islamic ideologues made a statement that home and Allah are one and the same. Of course, there were a lot of furor because of that. So partly, actually, the truth of the matter is Brahman or Om Parabrahman cannot be defined. It is beyond words. So whatever models, definitions you give, they are partial and they will not be complete. They cannot be complete. Therefore, the differences are bound to come. But as far as the Bahudevata Aradhana or polytheism is concerned, in, within Hinduism, it is not exactly polytheism. It is multifarious manifestations of the same divinity. Brahman manifested as Shiva, Vishnu, Shakti, Ganapati, Kartikeya, and Surya, the six Shanmatas. That's why Adi Shankaracharya has established the Shanmatas and is known as the Shanmatasthapanacharya. 
and uh, all six are opening gateways, windows to the same Parabrahman, which is home. This he has established at Kanchi for the whole country. And that's why, though on one side we are propagating Advaita, on the other side we are also worshipping, performing upasana of the various manifestations like Shiva, Vishnu, Shakti, Ganapati, Kartikeya, and Surya and Navagrahas. So that was the case throughout the world. The Navagrahas were worshipped even in Arabia, even in Makkah, a temple in Petra. Even today in Petra, temples are there. In Arabia, many temples have been called for the Navagrahas. And Rome, Apollo, Apollo means sun. Mitraism, Roman Emperor Constantine himself was a Mitraist. He converted the whole country and empire into Christianity because his mother was a Christian and he died as a Mitraist, that is, a sun worshipper. So finally, the sun was replaced by Jesus in Christianity and Sunday became the worship day. So the Jesus is a mythical personality, is a fictitious personality. He was replacing sun. The story of life of Jesus is taken out of the sun's life history. Like born to a virgin, having 12 disciples, dying, again born after three days. This story told to Jesus is also told to Osiris and Horus of Egypt. Actually, it is a story of sun because the Kanya Rasi virgin, born to the virgin, he starts the journey, 12 Rashis he will go through for the whole year and finally becomes disappeared uh, on 22nd December and reappear on 24th in Middle East, in Jerusalem area. That's why it is sad. death, I mean, he died and born again. That is like Uttarayana for us. After 15 days or so, the Sankranti comes the calculation difference, but it is the same phenomenon of the sun being revived after winter. So this story was ascribed to many persons like Osiris, Horus. They are all mythical personalities who lived as kings, but became heroes and became gods, like Semiramis also. But many other heroes became gods later in the European and Egyptian history and Greek and Roman history. And similarly, Jesus is a mythical personality created to deliver ethics, ethical behavior as a mandate for the people. And Dharma is common and Yoga is also common because they all believe in devotion, dedication. Buddhism and Jainism don't have their Bhakti concept, because there is no Ishwara, but they have the meditation, pranayama, everything intact. So Dharma Yoga is the common framework for the all religious denominations. This is my research publication, for which I was awarded a Doctorate of Divinity degree, conferred in a convocation by of the Henry Martin Institution at Hyderabad in 2018. Okay, now um, we will close the session and if you have any questions, you, you read the chapter on Buddhism, Jainism and Sikhism is more or less same as Hinduism and I have already discussed about Islam, Christianity and Judaism. So I think we will we'll be coming to the end of the theory coverage also, more or less. I think one more chapter we will do tomorrow and after all the Siddhas, the various Yoga Siddhas like I was starting from Shiva himself, Nandikeshwara, and so on. There's a chapter on around 24 Siddhas being described. We'll take it up tomorrow. Thank you. I've closed the session today. I finished. Yeah. Okay. Dhanivadam <clears throat> Landi. Uh, chat box, could you see any questions? Uh, there are no questions, but only thanks for the Sukshma Vyayama session.
Can you read that out? Yeah, I'll just read it. Just a minute. Uh, I am approaching 80 years in uh, yeah, this year. For the past over 15 years, I've been fortunate to get trained in doing several prominent asanas like Sarvangasana, Matsyasana, Paschamottasana, Surya Namaskaras, Chandra Namaskaras, Guru Namaskara, etc. etc. including 8 to 10 advanced pranayamas like Ekadasi Pranayama, etc. But I am fortunate to learn about yogic sokshma vyayamas for the first time this time. Thank you, Guruji. Yeah. Very heartening testimonial. In fact, uh, if you see my book on Sukshma Rama, there is an interview with one Peter Theobald of Bombay. He went and learned yoga in various institutions. He paid lakhs of rupees. He was not satisfied. And finally, he came to me and he learned all different subjects. Not only Sukshma but the Kriyas. Kriyas nobody teaches outside. Very few people teach. So the total comprehensive picture of the yoga system has to be learned in order to be living. If you, if you don't practice yoga, you'll have only roga. It is like, you know, some people said that we don't have time. It is like, you know, if, if you say that I don't have time to put petrol, but I want to go fast on the road by my car. I don't have time to put petrol, but I have to go fast. How will it go? So in the same way, if you don't have time for yoga, your car will not go. You can see in front of your eyes, people dying left and right. Even in COVID, a lot of people died. And those who were regularly practicing yoga for a long time, they survived. And after COVID also, people keep on dying due to the side effects of vaccinations. And those who practice yoga, they are able to survive because body is kept clean. They remove the impurities in the body. It's a very dangerous game. We are going through highly polluted environments and poisonous food intakes, pesticides. So unless the body is kept clean and healthy and happy and fit through various yoga techniques, it's not possible to survive also. Let me be very frank. So let alone... The, uh, uh, any great things. Even to survive, you have to be healthy and fit and only through yoga it is possible. Of course, there are other techniques like walking, running, jumping, but they are all having limited scope. Suppose you do walking. Okay, do walking. My wife does walking every day for 45 minutes or something. It's good. She's able to survive. But will it clean the stomach? Will it clean the nose? Or will it activate the brain parts, different parts which we activate in Sukshmayama? Or will it give enlightenment? I'm not saying you should not walk. You have to walk maybe in the evening and do yoga in the morning. Of course, running. Running is even better than walking. It is cardiac excess. But in Sthulayama, we have cardiac excess. You have seen running in Injan without stirring out of the house. Without going beyond three feet or two, one, two feet on which you are standing, you can run. If you do Indian doubt for three minutes, it is one mile. So we have all the fantastic techniques within the yoga system, which no other system in the world has. And without cleaning the body, now I feel so good after doing Jalaneti. My eyes are better, my nose is better. People have headaches and people have eye problems. So many problems are there. So, I'm very happy that uh, some of you, are, at least some of you, are taking interest in this subject. It is for your own benefit. It is like putting petrol and uh, diesel or uh, engine oil into your uh, car. If you don't put it, the car will not run. Thank you. Let us close the session. Okay. Anybody wants to ask any questions? There is one question. Uh, Namaste Guruji. Please show Sukshma Vyayama tomorrow. At least first 10 to 15 Kriyas. I think it's not Kriyas. It's uh, Vyayamas. 
I think. I am interested in teaching in the schools. Sure. Sujata Bharati, yes, what are Sir, Jalaniti, weekly once karni chahiye ya usse zyada karni chahiye? No, no, you have a note? Yes, it is. Have you done it before? No, no, once in a week karna hai na? No, no, once in a week wo punjal karna hai. वो उल्टी करने है जो से पानी पी के उल्टी करते हैं ये ये रोज करना है नहीं समर में रोज कर सकते हैं समर नहीं है तो दो दिन में एक बार रोज नहीं कर सकते हैं मतलब ठंडाई में नहीं करने ठंडाई में इसको बंद कर और बारिश में भी बंद कर अच्छा बारिश में भी बंद हाँ क्योंकि वो जो जुकाम लग जाएगी ना तो जब मौ Okay, okay. And the Bhastriya Prana is necessary. It's the whole sequence. After cleaning, I'm going to breathe in the water. And the package is full of Bhastriya. If you leave the whole thing, then the whole thing is full of water. Okay, okay. 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 हाँ हाँ ड्राइव वेदर में कीजिए अभी बारिश में ठीक नहीं है ठीक है ओके ओके नमस्ते सर थैंक यू थैंक यू देर आर नो अदर क्वेश्चंस ऑल राइट अंडर द चैट बॉक्स ओके देन वील ट्राई एंड क्लोज फिर इस सेशन यस रमेश गरु या ओ ना ना या प्रजाभ्य परिपाल एमताम या ये न भार के न महिम महिषाह ओ ब्राह्मण भय सुभमस्त निष्चम लोका समस्ता सुकिनो भवंतु काले वर्षत पच्चन्जा प्रदेवे सस्य सालिने देशो यमक्षो बरहितो ब्राह्मण आसन्तु निभाया अपुत्रा पुत्रेणा संतो पुत्रेणा संतो पाउत्रेणा आधाना साधन आसन्तु जीवन तो सरदाम सतम सच्चम बदा धर्मम चरा स्वाध्यायान्मा प्रमदा हा सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिना हा सर्वे संतु निरामया हा सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु माकस्य दुःख भाग भवे ओम शांते 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 हे ओम पूर्णमदा पूर्णमिदम पूर्णाक पूर्णमुत्तच्छते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावसिष्यते ओम शांते 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 हे सर्वे जनासुकिनो भवन्तु स्वस्ति रमेश गरु धन्यवाद अमन डे Now let us go for the national anthem. Chala Chitra Bhagavad Janagana Mana Adhinayaka Jayahe Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Punjab Sindhu Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkala Banga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchhala Jaladhita Ranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Aashish Mange Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Jaya 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 Jaya